Michelle's. It's Michelle, this and that with Michelle. And I have this humongous, heavy mail box, priority mail box from my bestie Lisa. So backstory, uh, when people first started doing signups for uh, 12 days of Christmas swaps, we decided that we were going to do a swap, a bestie box swap, uh, 12 days of Christmas, um, because we were already swapping every month. We were sending each other a box of happy mail, um, because both of us, uh, rarely got happy mail. So this was a way for us to, um, make sure that we were each getting happy mail every month. So once a month we send each other a bag, a box, whatever of happy mail. So for the month of December, we're doing a 12 days of Christmas bestie box. So we each have sent each other and um, we've decided that we can open in whatever 12 day period in December. Uh, we want to do our openings and our shares each day. So this is um, going to be day one for me. So I'm actually opening the box and I'm going to show you everything that's in it. So uh, we agreed to do 12 wrapped presents that were supposed to be numbered and a Christmas stocking full of unwrapped items. So that's what we're sending to each other. Um, Lisa did tell me that um, she said she couldn't find a stocking. So um, anything that's in here that's not wrapped is to be considered my stocking. So I will be doing my stocking and my day one gift today and then every day for the next 11 days I will be opening whatever day's gift that is. So let me see if I can put this down and bring everything up here because I have not looked inside here. I just untaped it because it was it was huge tape. So this is number 11. Oh, I like her little thing. See, I didn't do that. I just took um, <laughs> stickers and put stickers on. Um, oh my gosh. I can't get anything out of here. <laughs> This is number six. I got that out. Um, okay. Gee, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Wait, is that a nine? That's nine, okay. This is six. And it's stuck together, so I guess it's two gifts. But I bet I know what that is. <laughs> um, this is number seven. I bet I know what that is. Oh, goodness, this is number two. No idea what that could be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look, so cute. That's number five. Again, um, I think I know what that is. <laughs> I think there's a box full of this. Number four. Um, number one. Wow, I think I'm going to be stocked up. Um, here's something. Let's see what this is. This is number 12. I don't know how many that is. I'm still going through. Okay. This is number 10. Oh, that's a weird shape. Oop, oop, stop. I see another wrapped one. All right. Oh, this is number eight. Okay, that's an interesting sound. I think that's all the wrapped ones. This is this is for my granddaughter. Um, so uh, this was an item that she did a review on, and um, she sent it to me because she doesn't have any granddaughters. So this is going to be for my granddaughter. So that's why that's there. And everything else appears to be unwrapped. So let me show you what my stocking has and then I'll I'll have to figure out a way to put that put the stocking stuff up there too so first thing I see is this little red pen with a star a little fuzzy red pen with a star on it a little novelty pen Lisa knows I collect novelty pens so that's cool there is oh I haven't seen these at my store so cute, the little mini Santa gnomies. Oh my goodness, so cute. 
So cute. I have not seen these at my store. Or, or any store. Um, well, I picked up some at um, Hobby Lobby. Um, but um, I saw somebody hauling these, or at least ones that look like this, from uh, the Dollar Tree. But um, I don't know, maybe she got these at Dollar General or who knows. Um, then I have this little ornament, Christmas ornament. It's a little Santa hat with an M on it, a little fuzzy knob here and fur. That's so cute. I love that. What else is in here? There's some finger protectors. I'm stocked up on those. What is this? Um, oh, okay. Um, this is called Quake. Your best def defense against earthquake. <laughs> Quake hold, and she says there's a note on here that says that use this instead of pink wax, it lasts so much longer. So this is for my diamond paintings, instead of the pink wax. Okay, well I'll give it a try. If you say so, you know more than I do. Um, oh, cool! Some detailing scissors. I have not seen these at my store, so cool. Or stores, plural. All right, there is a bottle of some hand, uh, hand soap Clorox Fragan Fraganzia hand soap refill lavender with eucalyptus hand, hand soap. Okay. I wanted to smell it. Let me see. I can't smell it in the bottle. It's very cold. <laughs> so... Uh, what else is in here? There's a, what is this? Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hydrating Cloud Cream Moisturizer. Okay, it's a moisturizer. Water Drench. Okay. Well, goodness knows I need that. It's, it's so dry here. And then, ow, then there's a miscellaneous batch of wet wipes. Antibacterial wet wipes. You know, I'm thinking I'll put these in the car. Um, because it's always good to have individual wet wipes. Let me tell you, because I had a bird take a poop on my door handle the other day. So, <laughs> so. All right, let me find uh, number one. Here, this is number one. So I get to open this one today. So let us see. And it's wrapped in purple, and I'm gonna really rip through it. All right. Eh. Okay, I guess. I, oh, it's stuck to the, that's why I can't just pull it out. taped to oh it's the little gnomey oh my goodness she got me the little gnomey I love it thank you Lisa oh my gosh I want to start this right now <laughs> oh my gosh oh my goodness I love this what size is this I'm sure it says on here somewhere, but I'm not going to take it apart. Oh, this is so cool. Day one. Love it. Day one. Nomi. Diamond painting. Oh, oh my goodness. I love it. All right. So um, that's all I have for now. Um, I will post a link to Lisa's channel down below if you're not familiar with her channel. Um, she recently uh, changed her curriculum over, and she's now Lisa's. Lisa Douglas diamond paintings and more so she's focusing on diamond paintings it's something that she loves to do that she's very skilled at and um, it's she's doing kind of a 
a tutorial kind of a thing where she's telling you about diamond paintings, about how she sets up to work on a diamond painting. She's giving you all the little ins and outs, giving you the names of things, all that kind of thing. So if you've never done a diamond painting, go over to her channel and check it out and maybe learn a little something. Uh, Lisa got me into diamond painting and I believe she got Esther T into diamond painting. Esther T is her other bestie. Um, she's getting a lot of gal uh, uh, gals <laughs> into diamond painting. So go check it out. Give her a subscribe. And um, yeah, I know she's got a lot of challenges coming up. So, you know, you want to follow for that. And with that being said, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And as always, sparkle on dolls, sparkle on, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.